Hello and welcome back to our Uli. Let's play poorly. Let's see where we are, what we're doing. Okay, so we are in the anarchy world that is just a poor agricultural, so we want to buy a whole bunch of things that'll... Oh, interesting. Uh, oh, no, wait, come on. Carry to restock. There we go. Furs. Is that really all we got there? That's it? That's all you got right now? Man, that sucks. Uh, furs, liquor and wine, textiles, and food. There's just not much going on here. Could do some radioactives, I guess. And then the rest will have to be these little guys. Okay. I think that's what we're going to have to do. Um, there's really nothing here for us to buy right now. So we'll go see. Now, the, the place that we're going to be going to is Insorius. And Insorius is corporate, I believe, if I'm right. Yeah, corporate state. So that means we're going to have to... We, we may have to... I don't think they require embassy stuff, right? And we don't even have an embassy here. So we're just gonna have to yellow that. I'm pretty sure I don't need. I'm pretty sure I don't need a visa to go to a, a corporate. I don't remember from the last time. Okay, here we go. Let's see where we're gonna what we're gonna look at. Uh, my inquirer, my uh, market inquirer is set. So let's see. We go textiles. Main station is best. Main station is best for that. And well, okay. Uh, but that Kyoto Solar is really far away. I don't think that's gonna be worth it. Radioactive is also is best for the. Okay, yeah. So main station is where we want to be. I think I want to get rid of the um, the telescope expander extender. It's showing me things I just don't want to see. Right? It's showing me all these ships that I just that is not going to be helpful to me. It's actually going to be harder to to um, to track things down. So I'm gonna I'm gonna sell it. It didn't cost me that much, so that's all right. No! Damn it! Ugh. I really, I really hate the targeting system in this game. Okay, only visa holder. Well, I guess, I guess that just means then the world that I came from doesn't have an embassy. Doesn't have any embassy, so we're just gonna have to punch it. No shit. This is gonna cost us, but what we gotta do? Yeah, 192. Not not awful.
We didn't make a lot of money, though. Luxuries. Okay, machinery. I think that's our best. And then luxuries next. Okay. Yes, yeah, so the embassy district here... I could buy citizenship for 8,800 at some point, which I probably will want to do. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and sell... Yeah. Let's go sell the telescope extender. It's just, it's not useful for me at the moment. Um... Okay. ECM. Damage report MFD. Don't need that. Escort license if I wanted to get into combat, which I'm super not confident about yet. External heat shield. Uh, if I were doing fuel scooping, which I haven't done actually before. I know I have a fuel scoop, right? I do have fuel scoops. That's interesting that I have that. Well, I guess it's part. it was part of the start. Um, and I just don't, um, haven't done anything with it yet. Um, oh, we could get the target mod. Just to complete the set. That's for the Vamana HUD. Yeah, screw it. Let's do it. Let's just get it done. Okay, yeah, so the telescope now looks a lot better. Uh, there was just too many- there was too many regular ships that I just don't care about. If I- if I ever get deep into combat, I'll need that information, but I don't need it now. So, um, having the, uh, having the stations and so forth so that I can track down where they are is- is better. Yeah. Oh, and then, of course, the problem with the Vamana HUD is the target info- I probably shouldn't have kept that. I probably shouldn't have bought that. Because the target info overrides the travel info. Even if I haven't explicitly selected a station or something- selected a target. Ah, it's so annoying. So where are we gonna where are we gonna sell some stuff? Luxuries, main station. Oops, machinery, I think was also main station, so yeah. There's honestly nowhere else to really do that here. Just coyote manufacturing, honestly, and then that's really far away. Target the buoy. I want to target the. There we go. Docking clearance granted. That should be all right. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's a decent amount. Uh, do I sell that thing again? Oh, I can't sell it here anyway. Uh, what's my best option here? Radioactives is probably the best. Oh no, furs. And then liquor and wines. And then radioactives. Platinum, gold, a couple of textiles. Wow, we really don't have a lot. Uh, do some fresh water. That'll get us all the way. At this point, we're really just trying to make enough money to get more components, more stuff. I, I also want to get more cargo space, if I can pull that off. But the cargo, the cargo boosts are all like over 10k. I'm assuming main station is still the best place for everything. Yeah, I mean the surf station, maybe? No, everything else is better at the main station, so we'll just go to the main station and do it all there. Surf station, I think, is this right here, right in front of me. And that's the new eat station, which I can't seem to- I can't figure out how to get into. I shouldn't have I shouldn't have aimed directly. That's that was on me. Oh right, 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 right. Let's just punch it. Give me a big fine, yeah, 204. Worth it. We're at 53, so we made about 300 on that. It would have been 500 if it hadn't been for the fine. All you've got is machinery and, well, luxuries. Okay. Anything we can make, anything we can buy for 2600. What does this do? Oh, trading news. Hmm. 30 day sub subscription, that's not going to be super helpful for us. Escape pods, warrant scanner, camera drones. Well, I 
Interesting. An upgrade to the advanced space compass, which displays the name, classification, and current distance of any star, gas giant, planet, moon, station, or artificial satellite targeted in an MFD whilst the ship is in flight. I mean, that could be handy. And then we have the galactic sat nav. Let's grab those. That one and that one. And then uh, let's go... Where is it? There we go. HUD selector. So let's see what the MFDs look like. Advanced system data. Let's swap this one out. With, uh, with the one we just got. Uh, damage, no, undefined, okay, come on now. Well, I'm confused now. What was the one? I mean, it what? It was something else just a second ago, and then I am not finding it in the list now. I don't know what that is. N M primable. Let's let's find out. Okay, welcome to your Galactic Almanac MFD unit. Advanced space compass. Okay, select a slot on your HUD by pressing the shift and pl what? Oh, okay. Till the Galactic Almanac MFD appears. Once assigned, the MFD will turn itself off when you dock and on and when you launch. What? MFD will display information in relation to your current target. When you have a target lock, the MFD unit will automatically lock onto your current target. What the what the devil does that mean? I'm very confused about that. Let's go ahead and just save here. And head out. Okay, so that was number four. That's the telescope. That's the current system. Comms log. Ah! Galactic Almanac MFD. There we go. I mean, that's kind of cool, right? It's not super useful, but... Okay, that, that that's useful. That's that's fun information to have. It looks like down there, it tells us how many worlds there are, how many orbitals, and it tells us about the planet since we haven't targeted anything else. I mean, that's nice. Certainly, uh, didn't spend a lot of money on it, so.
All right, we definitely want the main station. Alright, wow, look at that. We're at 6k now. Nothing worth buying here, though, still. Oh, interesting. This device is small, but considered highly illegal by Galcop. Let's see. I feel like we've been on this run back and forth for a while, so maybe this will be the last the last time I do this run, or the last uh, episode I do this this run explicitly in, uh, because it would be nice to go and 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 see the rest of the world for a little while. All right, liquor and wines, not much there. Textiles. Fresh water. Oh no, not fresh water. We want radioactives. And then fresh water. That's about all we got. Whoops. I did not set my destination. There we go. Uh, come on, Kevin. Oh, God. Stop. There we go. Yeah, main station prices aren't the best. But they're close enough that the amount of work to, to get the best is probably not something I want to bother with. Okay. They, they vary ever so slightly every time you uh, come in, so... You know, every time you enter the system, it changes a little bit. Oh, there's some baddies out there. Now, there's no point in trying to get clearance.
Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ah, some smooth flying. And we're going to get a fine. Oh, gosh. They, that fine's big. Eh, break even, basically, because of that fine. That's all right. So, next time we're going to come... Uh, we're going to break away from this run back and forth. Let's see if there's something else that we can do ahead of time. We got our bulletin board here. We got some transports. Parcels. Can't do any of those. Galactic news. Let's just move through these. I love all these heads. Yeah, that's fun. Oh, there's still seven more? What? There we go. Um, commodity markets was something I've never really uh, looked at too much. Uh, this is essentially the same list that we see in the uh, on the MFD in the upper right. Uh, it's just that it's all of them. Just handy if you want to do in-system trading, I suppose. Do we have any add-ons that we need to config? I don't think so. We've added some things. Um, no, everything looks fine, I think. There's nothing specifically that calls out to me. Uh, all right. Yeah, so this is what I want, right? I want the container. I want the container options. Um... Specialty cargo trading is another thing we could try. I think I might do that. Not super sure I know how to make this work, like what I what it wants me to do exactly. Because the prices for these specialty pieces are much higher than the regular prices of the same category. So I'm guessing I might have to sell them somewhere else in this thing, but uh, yeah, sell specialist cargo. So yeah, we'll we'll look into that. Ah, okay. All right, that's good. This is sort of like in Astrox where you have specific types of things that are preferred. Oh, and then some gospel. Oh, again, this is like the news in Astrox. And then we have the trade floor. Okay, yeah, and when we come back, this is I'm going to play around with the specialist trade goods. I, th I think that'll be kind of interesting. But until then, thanks for watching. See you next time.